I'm a historical linguist, uh, and in particular, I work on the Sino-Tibetan family, so the family of which uh, Chinese, Tibetan, and Burmese are the most uh, famous examples, uh, but that altogether there's about 400 uh, Sino-Tibetan languages. I look at uh, how those um, languages have uh, emerged through history, what their relationship is, how they um, how they split off from one another. And then uh, for those languages that have a written tradition like Chinese and Tibetan, I also look at uh, in detail how they have uh, changed over time. A teenager, when I was 14, I traveled uh, with a school trip actually across uh, northern India. And I found myself uh, incredibly interested in um, uh, Sanskrit literature, uh, Indian philosophy, uh, but also Tibetan uh, uh, literature and philosophy as well. And at the same time, that the kind of work that I uh, was being exposed to on Sanskrit and its relationship to Greek and Latin just didn't exist for for Tibetan. Um, so so I thought, well, the, that's that's a, a way to spend a life is is to uh, you know, try to build some of the, the resources, make some of the discoveries uh, for Tibetan and its related languages. When I was, uh, you know, young, I was curious about the history of uh, uh, some Asian languages and I was not able to satisfy my curiosity. So I, I want, you know, future teenagers uh, who, who uh, find themselves curious about those things to, to find it easier to satisfy that curiosity.